I remember at one point, I remember I, I took geometry in summer school. I took, it was an option I had when I was in high school. I took geometry in summer school. And I was actually there, I was taking it ahead of time, uh, but, but I was there with a number of people who had flunked out of, out of, you know, out of, out of the, it flunked geometry and were trying to graduate. And it was, you know, I, I, you didn't take it. They only had one summer school place in, in the whole county. So it wasn't at the actual school I went to. It was at another place. And I remember I was in this class, you know, and there were kids in there who had been, been arrested. There were kids in there who'd flunked, you know, everything and were failing. And, you know, it was, it was a small class of people. We took geometry in summer school. I took summer school geometry uh, one summer. And I was in summer school, taking summer school geometry. And, uh, you know, that was a little bit a little bit of a rougher crew than I normally hung out with. You know, uh, at one point there was a kid who brought speed. And he gave everyone in the class a speed pill. You know, speed, like the drug, I didn't take one, obviously. Me being the goody two-shoes that I am. But, you know, they didn't seem to care. And then, you, know, the, you know, the teacher was just kind of doing his own thing. And... You know, he just gave us worksheets at the beginning of the class, and we're just chilling there in geometry class. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's geometry, and everyone passed no matter what. That was the other thing. It was pass-fail, and you automatically passed. It was just you were just there because they needed you to be there because you'd flunked geometry before, and they were there. It was like a procedure. It was just it was a disgrace. I, look, I mean, American education is a disgrace. But I'm sitting there in the geometry class, summer school geometry. I'm sitting there. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, you know, you know, one day the, you know, the kid was passing out speed to everybody to show what a cool kid he is. He's giving everyone drugs and, you know, there's one kid who was, was there because he brought a knife to school and so he'd been expelled. So he was there taking geometry in the class, kind of a rough guy, another guy there who would, you know, it was, it was, it was, you know, it was kind of like the breakfast club. You ever see the movie, the breakfast club? It was a little bit like that. It was... It was, it was a little bit of a rougher bunch than I generally associated with in high school. But of course, but then again, I mean, I was, I was whatever. I was there and, you know, we have all this free time because the teacher just gives us, you know, worksheets at the beginning of the class. And so we're just sitting there and most of the day is just kind of chilling in the room, you know. You know, we're not really doing that much. And um, I remember, um, remember, you know, I have a lot of communist books there. And at one point... Um, this, this kid who was there for, I don't know why he was there. You know, he sees me and he's like, you're a communist. I said, yes. And he's like, communists are a bunch of faggots. You know, just, you know, really nasty, homophobic line. Communists are a bunch of faggots, he said to me. You know, I'm used to this, right? This is high school bullying. I'm just like, yeah. But immediately, <laughs> five or six of these, like, gang kids behind me are like, no, communists are not faggots. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, what? And he's like, they're looking over my shoulder, like, I'm like, no, communists are not faggots. They're like, communists are badass motherfuckers. And I'm just like looking like, what? And they're like, and they're like, no, my uncle fought in Vietnam, and those communists, you know, they used to blow shit up and they they had like traps they would set. Communists are badass motherfuckers. And and then this other kid's like, yeah, he's like, man, he's like, you know, I, I heard watched a movie about North Korea last night. Communists are badass motherfuckers. And he's describing how Kim Jong-il, you know, eats people alive and, I, and all this. Communists are bad motherfuckers. Communists are badass motherfuckers. And I'm just looking around. It was, it was certainly a surprise to me. I never thought that I would be, uh, you know, but, but that, was a certain, that was certainly a moment uh, that I will never forget. Someone told me that communists are a bunch of faggots and, and then a bunch of other people disagreed and made clear that communists are a bunch of badass motherfuckers. Uh, you know, so there you go. I've, I've said my, my limit of swear words for the day. Uh, I've said the, the un, unpleasant uh, homophobic F word, and then I said the other F word, and there you go. But that was my experience in um, summer school geometry class, where I, I learned that there are different opinions about communists among, among juvenile delinquents.